this work when I got this uh, got plugged in, don't worry. <laughs> Whether it was all focused on him or focused on the salt to play with the front of the net. And then I got something that I <laughs> Should be. No, it is. Hello and welcome back to Salford Sport TV. I have to say I wasn't your allotted commentator for today, so uh, I'm going to try my absolute best. But O Spence and Finley Gaynor on their taxi on their way here right now. Um, I apologise, I am two pints deep and I know nothing about hockey, but I'll try my absolute best for you guys at home. All right, Salford on the ball. <sighs> my stepmom actually played hockey for the Isle of Man, so that's, you know, I've got a little bit of background in it. Um, here's Iwan. Iwan's uh, my mate on my course. Shout out to Iwan. Um, right, come on, Iwan. Go on, son. Played for Wales at Youth International all the way up to under 16s, I think. Um, there's a fun fact, fun nugget for you. Right, Salford are there. I've got the ball now. Can they make it count down this wing? Run down the wing. Number five. Can he get it into the box? He can. Ah, and it's well, uh, well defended there by Chester. This man is bold, number four. Um, by choice or by shave, I don't know. That aside, he's got the ball forward here. Just whacking it with that stick. I have to say, this is probably the hardest thing I've done for Salford Sport because, again, know nothing about hockey. Um, but I'm hoping you're enjoying my dulcet tones at home. Salford have won the ball back, uh, but lovely little kiki uppy there from, uh, from Chester. Shout out to them. Great pass. Oh, that's a Chester ball right there. Time for some more beer, I think. You're going to be stopped for the next four hours. I was meant to only do a bit of presenting today. I thought I had the day off. Just coming to watch a bit of fun, a bit of sport. Um, oh, well defended by Chester. Audacious from the Salford player there. Um, one back by Iwan. No, it's not Iwan. My bad. Is that Iwan? No, that is Iwan. Go on, Iwan. Oh, foul. Disgusting. No, that's not Iwan. Is that Iwan? I don't know. Where is Iwan? That's not Iwan. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll do another shout out to our course mate Adam Waitman. I'm sure he wished he was here. Right, here we go. You guys have been saved at home. Um, I won't be on commentary for much longer. Ollie Spencer's walking down the stairs now. Foul! Something's happened. Who knows what? Wow, what a dribble from the Salford player. Go on, Salford. Oh, penalty! Get in! Striker. <laughs> right, I don't know where hey, he's coming here. Have to keep going I set up yeah, I will do. Right, where is Finley Gaynor? That's what I want to know. I'll uh, I'll ask Mr. Spence when he gets here. Okay, but it's a penalty to uh, to Salford. It's I've seen the uh, I've seen the World Cup and the like, not World Cup, the Olympics and stuff. They have to run in with it, don't they? Um, but I'm just going to ask Ollie Spencer a quick question here. Hi. Hey, Ollie Spencer, I'm somehow uh, I'm somehow on commentary for the first 15. Right. Where's Finley Gaynor? Finley Gaynor has gone to the footy. Isn't he meant to be commentating? I don't think so. No, he was always meant to be on the football. Football. Right. Okay. Um, it's yeah, it just Harry Smith. Is it just you and your own today, Ollie? Are you leaving? Here? No, I, I am leaving. I am leaving. You're I don't. Leaving on my own, I uh, I don't think I can I can do it. To first. I don't think I can either. But. Um, <laughs> But yeah, right, okay. Am I, uh, am I carrying on? Yeah, just keep going until I get Okay, all right. So I'll put up the ball on the edge of the D here. Can they make it count? Salford being the better team here, can they get... Oh, unlucky from the Salford player there. Very, very unlucky. They've been the better team so far this game. 
still nil nil. I must remind you, Salford five one up from the first uh, first Bucks game. Um, can Salford make this count? Iwan, if you're watching this, can you come to more lectures, please? Because uh, I'm all on my own, and um, it's not fun. So this is just a little shout-out to Iwan to tell him to come to more lectures. Shut up. Sorry, I was going a bit aggressive there. The Chester fans are in, uh, are in full voice behind you. You know they're uh, they're upset because um, they think they're English. They're not. They're Welsh. <laughs> we're not actually technically in Wales yet, but we're about I don't know five minutes away. I think here in Chester. Good bit of skills from the the Chester player there. An attempted tackle and Soft will do it in the end, but the referee blows up. I wish he'd blow me. No, I don't actually. He's an old man, the referee. Okay. For you guys at home, the camera is being set up now, so soon come. Ever the professionals here at Salford Sport TV. Okay. I'm just riffing. Right, we're over. Uh, Chester's a lovely place to be fair. Lots of big, nice houses. Um, <laughs> it's it's so close to Wrexham as well. Next 10 seconds. That's all right. Apparently Wrexham's not a very nice place. So, yeah, better than that. Uh, lots of big houses. I've heard there's a nice bridge in Chester as well. Just been over it. Have you? Yeah, yeah. I got an Uber to the wrong place and we went over the bridge. Uh, okay. Let's carry on with it. That's done. <laughs> Salford, can they score? Well, score it in the goal hole. Who knows? Um, you guys will know at the end of this game. Or you probably will know because the score might be in the title, in fairness. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. Currently it's 0 0. Um, someone has to win. That is literally the aim of sport, and someone will win. It's currently a draw, um, but it can't end like that. That's yours. Okay. Who's uh, next? Oh, you got yeah. Yeah, I'm good then. Okay, I might be about to leave you. I'm sure you're gutted. You watching at home to hear that? I'm gutted, Lewis. I thought you were going to be uh, doing commentary. It's okay. Uh, absolutely it's not. Fine. All right. Okay. I'm I have to love you and leave you. All right. Thank you, Lewis. Can you hear me, Thomas? Are my uh, levels all right? On second. Good, good. Hello, hello. Yeah. Perfect. Right. See you later. So, Sorry, so, thank you, Lewis, for helping out. Everyone say in the comments, say thank you, Lewis. Um, we're here. I very, very stupidly booked an Uber to the wrong place. Uh, and we ended up at the University of Tesla campus or something, which is surprisingly far away uh, from the little spot centre and campus here. So, my mistake for that. Uh, but we're here, nevertheless, rain or shine, late or early, we will be here covering sport for you here at Varsity. So, as you've heard from Lewis, nil-nil here, no action as of yet, but plenty of time to go. So, for just keeping possession at the back here, we're going to uh, look to... Push forward on an attack now. Pushing into the midfield. Pushing forward down the left flank now, trying to get into the into the area, the box. Cut out though. Oh, and it's flung up high and long. Unable to bring it down the Chester player. And number two here. We'll just keep possession for Salford, but he's fouled. Playing it out back to the defence. Oh, and number three has a task keeping it in there. He's giving a bit of a poor ball, but he does. And again, just keep possession here, Salford.
still in the first block. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sarva pushing on an attack here. Trying to put it into the box and it ricochets off a um, Chester player and out. I have to bear with me and my limited uh, field hockey knowledge, but I'll do my best for you here today, guys. Knocking about there, but the number four here for Chester's bursting his way forward. He's done really well. Still going now. It's an incredible solo run. Is he going to go on his own? He's cut out there just as he was heading towards the box. And it's flinged up here. Sort of man able to keep it in, but it goes to a Chester player. That's an excellent effort there by that number four for Chester. He's done really, really well. He's back on it again now. Cut out though by the Sulfur number four. He tries his little spin round, but he's unsuccessful. He's lost possession. Scraping to get back, but Chester still have the ball now here. Little clash in the midfield there, and the ref whistles for a foul by Salford. Plug in. Chester lashing at the ball, trying to get it on net, but unable to. Sulfur to restart now. Nice pass down the line there. Five pings it, another one down. And can number six keep it in here? Bit of pushing and barging, and the referee blows. Penalise the Chester player. And Sulfur take quickly. Number six tries to drive his way into the box, but it's stopped. Chester crowd making some noise up in the little bleachers by our side. I'll tell you what, Thomas, we had a rowdy, rowdy crowd at the rugby earlier today. It says Uster Hoot. It looks like a penalty to be taken. Oh, and it goes wide. It was a good opportunity for Salford. Whistle blown by the ref there. I believe they're going to go back to the uh, chest of possession. I believe at this point we are 10-3 um, overall for Varsity. So hopefully if we win this, um, it could be the nail to secure Salford's overall win in uh, Boston. We've got the second mic here. Can you hear me, Thomas? Yes, I can hear you. Perfect. You keep that one. We're going to have Thomas join us on commentary for a little bit as he does the camera work, so bear with him. He might not be the most vocal, but... I tell you what, uh, obviously first time I've um, commentated on hockey, but it's quite strange seeing how, uh, how different the game is compared to different sports from a filming perspective. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Thomas. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting, but they're so... It seems to me a very difficult. I don't think I could do this with limited ability, sporting ability. But, um, yeah, it's very precise. The players are very talented. I would like to say I've heard that chant a lot today. I filmed the uh, women's first football game and both uh, Chester and Salford do use that chant. Oh, yes. Uh, which is quite funny. 
Yeah, it uh, seems like a little bit of a rip-off when they just copy the other team doing it, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, I can't it's, say who was doing it first because they oh, were doing it last nice. week as well. So, but no, certainly no one owns it. Yeah. It'd be nice to have a, a Chester uh, chant against Salford and a Salford chant against Chester. <laughs> you know, one that... Like, like, you know, the good old Liverpool and Everton um, chants <laughs> back home. Um, but, I mean, the leagues are quite different. That's in the Prem. <laughs> and oh, this is oh, some university... Uh, hey. Games. What are you talking about, Thomas? This is far higher stakes. I, it's a very good point. <laughs> but uh, no, you're right. The rugby, like I said earlier, were very rowdy. Crowd, crowd even going at each other physically at one point. Um, we had the same in the women's at yeah. the end when the whistle was blown. There was some push and shove. These um, two unis hate each other and it makes for great entertainment. It was quite funny when um, Lewis was commentating a bit earlier. Um, some people stood to our right, um, quite frankly, wanted to bash his head in. Yeah. Uh, and that's a quote. I love you, Lewis, but um, that's what they thought of you, which is fair enough. You know, we've, we've came to their campus um, and let's just hope we can survive with our lives. <laughs> but they, they are very nice. I've spoken to um, some people from the Chester SU um, and they're very welcoming and... Um, and they've been making sure, you know, that everyone's okay. Oh, everyone yeah. Everyone needs anything. Um, and also trying to make sure to keep our fans apart, just in case. Yeah, I mean, at least for us, and I'm sure many of us, the rivalry is simply a sporting one. There's no need for any uh, hostility in yeah. it for any other way. And, you know, keep Definitely. it on the field. Uh, and I've even been speaking to um, some of Chester's videographers earlier. Uh, really nice guys. And hopefully we'll be working with some of them, um, especially with Salford being a media uni. We've got a lot more resources. Absolutely. Um, especially on the media front. So uh, hopefully they'll they'll enjoy some of our coverage. I will apologise for this camera work has been uh, a bit um, not not the highest quality that you get from Salford Sports TV um, due to the uh, late setup. But uh, yeah. I will try my best, and I will tell you what, that ball is very hard to keep in frame. When oh, the that is an excellent push forward from Salford there. Trip, but ref seems to play advantage. It's just cut out by 15, but Salford will collect it up top. Right, it's cut out well by the, re uh, sorry, not Redson, Chester player. And that is a barge and a foul. Can get quite physical in hockey, and you see it in ice hockey, it's quite a staple of the sport, but... Oh, and there's a little... Is that Sinbin? It looks like it. I've never seen a green triangle before in sports as like a uh, punishment. I'm not going to lie. I have absolutely no idea what that means, but I will look it up. He's gone back to uh, his end. and I, Yeah, I presume he'll sit out, for, but I don't know for how long. Um, is there any uh, hockey fans besides you that you could ask? I will, I'm on Google, mate. I will find out. And the sun's just came out a bit more, which is nice. I mean, you really can't see it on the camera, but I can feel it. Oh, yeah. A bit nicer and warm. It was raining earlier, which is uh, not as fun um, for us to out here, but quite good for you guys. Yeah, sat at home or in the <laughs> FU, huddled up warm, maybe with a beer or two. Or three. Or three. Or four. I mean, I have heard the uh, celebration tonight in the uh, Salford SU is going to be quite crazy because... Half price drinks for the Ooh. first hundred or so orders, I believe. Get yourselves down there, folks. I know it'll be too late once you listen to this, but I hope in you spirit. had fun. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they'll chuck on some um, games from last week. Uh, we are very thankful to the uh, Solver Students Union for putting on some of our games. It's uh, very nice to see some of our work up there on the screen, um, and the players have been messaging us saying how much they love it. Anyway, I have to interrupt, sorry, but here come Chester. This number four again, he's looked very sharp in this game since I've been here. Pushing forward very well. That's a great interception by the soft player. And a lovely little... Through his do they, leg. Do they have uh, nutmeg in for hockey? If they do, that certainly was it. But uh, I have found out, I've got an answer for the green triangle mystery. I'm sure loads of you at home watching are like, these idiots have no idea what they're talking about. And you're right. We don't. It's a close chance for Salford there, but it's uh, blocked by the keeper. But yeah, you're right, we do not know. We'll happy, we're happy to have anyone correct us. You know, we're all about learning. We all want to uh, do our best, give you the best coverage we can. But the Green Triangle, Thomas, is a personal penalty card symbolising a formal warning. And it basically constitutes a last chance uh, for that offence or the player will be sent off. So 
presumably it acts similar to a yellow card in football, but maybe there was a sin bin, so perhaps a yellow card in rugby. Um, as the player who is still over there, unless that was in second and he has been actually sent off, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Salford pushing forward here, they've got men forward. Still going out, it's cut out well by that number seven for X, and we look to drive forward. But he's cut out, but he's still got the ball. Thrashing around a little bit here. Salford trying to keep it in the Wrexham half and launch an attack. And the ref whistles. And here comes number 16. Uh, Salford a lashing shot forward. It's in, is it? It's close. Oh, it's just defended by Wrexham. It was a close one. Perhaps the best chance of the game so far, at least since I've been here. You can hear it by the claps in the crowd. Uh, they're very impressed by that. Uh, I think it came from the uh, Chester end, who are quite happy that they've uh, not conceded. Absolutely, yeah. That's a deep, good interception. Never mind, it's forgiven as a foul. Still trying to figure out like the, uh, the leniency with fouls and like what constitutes a foul. I, I think I gathered maybe like he um, he he aimed for the player in the stick, yeah, not the uh, ball not the itself. Ball. Yeah, I did. I did assume that. I was wondering if like yeah, clashing sticks is a penalty probably quite an easy one for refs to police because you can hear them can't you yes uh, and I gathered the foul over there was for I believe it hit the player's feet a uh, ref flowing there bringing it back what is uh, quite strange as well compared to other sports is that the ref is not in the middle of the action they're actually stood quite far back so they yeah, can see. Yeah, they are almost like linesmen in yeah. other sports, aren't they? It is very interesting, You're right, Thomas? Yeah. I mean, you definitely wouldn't want to be in the thick of it with uh, the uh, sticks being whacked around. I would imagine that's the reason why. Yeah, I think you could probably find yourself in a lot of trouble with a lot of uh, sticks flying. But I suppose, like we said, with the clashing of sticks, it's probably relatively easy to police. And whilst the ball is small, it is fluorescent orange. Uh, I've got a quick question for you, Thomas, side of the hockey. How uh, These microphones, how well do they pick up background noise? I'm assuming quite well. They do quite well. Um, you've got to make sure you speak directly into them because uh, they're not the fancy roadie ones that we've got down on the uh, the main courts. Yeah. Um, yeah, we could do noise cancelling and stuff, so it's not too bad. Okay. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I just noting on the rugby, like I said I was doing earlier, we had a, a lot of fans about two metres behind us who were very loud and very rowdy um, and, as you might expect, a lot of bad language. So um, you might have a little job on. It's with a, fine. Um, we do try and make uh, us seem as professional as we can, um, editing out any foul language that our uh, presenters and commentators say. Whoa, the whoa, fans, whoa. The fans do... Um, do you know uh, add to the atmosphere and we do keep it in um, what we show is governed by YouTube's um, uh, policies so as long as it can go up on YouTube well anyone yeah. can watch it can't uh, imagine there's anything too bad yet um, but I like to hear that you are right the crowd does bring a lot even if as you say it involves certain <laughs> level of foul language well defended by Chester He's just going to ping it out to safety. I'm not sure whether that was a clearance or a misplaced pass. But you what, I am worried about my shins if it comes over here. Yeah, I've got to say I'm putting a lot of trust in the player's ability here because they do whack it, don't they? And that ball is hard. I've got to say, I'd be terrified if I was on that pitch. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, I, I played a bit in primary school, which is, you know, quite a while ago. Yeah. Um, but if you got hit in the, in the ankle by a stick or a ball, you were definitely out for the rest of the day. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's almost. I think I'd be less scared on like a rugby pitch. You got a I, big I, I, I prefer you. rugby yeah. than uh, the danger of hockey. To be honest, I feel um, like you can control a, to a certain extent a rugby tackle. Like you can change your Chester body language on the and offensive. stuff. Sorry, yeah. Here we go. Number four again. He's had an excellent game, as I said previously. Sort of in the spark of the Chester attack, and again to the box here. He's found his way through. Self cutting out at the last uh, last chance. Seven here looks like he's going to shoot from distance. Brings it into the box. Still got it now. Do Chester. Number eight slashes it in. Saved by the keeper, and it's knocked out. And it's going to come right Coming towards right our towards. camera here. Well and in, Thomas. Stop. He stopped it just before it hit the corner of our tripod. Luckily, the tripod can survive it. But, uh, oh, I'm sure it can, but I my shins that can't. Than me falling over, dragging the headphones, and all wires being unplugged. 
Uh, yeah, Chester putting a lot of pressure on here now. They've got momentum. They're going to want to. They're going to want to score a point here. Do you refer to it as points or goals? I would have thought maybe points, but I'm not entirely sure. I'd, again, anyone would love to correct. If anyone could correct us, we'd love that. If anyone from uh, Salford would like to get involved commentating for the hockey, absolutely. Um, for any yes. Games that we have uh, coming up either this year or uh, next year. Um, we'd love to have you on. We're trying to expand our team, uh, our commentary, our editing, and our uh, camera operator team. Absolutely, yeah. I couldn't say it any better myself, Thomas. You know, we do, we try our best, but we set this up with generally with football in mind. That is sort of all our expertise. Uh, with a few of us dipping into other sports, but yeah, we are we are not experts. We claim to be nothing of the sort on sports like this, like hockey. Um, perhaps the more niche ones but yeah if you know your stuff and you're confident enough and you want to come along and give us a hand we would take you in uh, warm embracing arms we would love it so yeah get in touch anyone interested I believe am I right in saying feel free just to DM the Salford Sport Instagram account yep feel yep. free sorry I missed that guys I was just adjusting some wires as you could tell it's not all uh, general high quality um footage and coverage uh, because we're down a few people. I do apologise to my lecturer. I um, had to email her yesterday and inform her uh, how a lot of people um, couldn't make it and I was needed. There you go, Thomas. Um, Absolute soldier. Yeah. I blame Charlie Sutton for all I, of this. I blame Harry, Harry Smith. Harry Smith. Well, yeah, Harry Smith, to be fair, was meant to be on the rugby as well, I believe. He but... confirmed he would be here yesterday. Ooh. And he messaged today saying, oh, yeah, I'm in my lecture. Sorry, yeah. I can't make it. Well, at least he is doing his academic work. If he had, if we'd found out he'd been uh, him or anyone else. Oh, that's a lovely play by Salford there if through the legs. If he's down the SU, I will... If we saw him down the SU, if we find out he is up to summit. Um, I don't think... Uh, Harry, I, you I, naughty, naughty boy. I don't think him or Sutton will be uh, watching this. But if you do, we are looking for you. <laughs> we will find you. And we will um, kill you. Oh no, never mind. Uh, we'll, we'll be, we'll be a bit. That, that's next time, okay? This time we'll only. Uh, we're not angry. We're just disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> no, I blame Charlie Sutton just because I think he's a funny person to blame. I said this in the rugby as well. I don't even think he was going to be doing any of this uh, hockey, but I still blame him. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing a few of the lads again later. This offensive um, is with speed. Really here good from here, Chester. number four again. Oh, he puts it wide. Tell you what, Thomas, he has clearly been the best player on this pitch so far, in my opinion. He's looked really, really strong. Certainly. And uh, another comment about the uh, linesman like refs. Uh, we've got a, a ref down in the corner here. He's got some funky shots, that bloke, doesn't he? Very funky I love shots. Him. We do, indeed. And we've got a ref just to our right. I assume you've got one on each side of the pitch covering each half. Again, similar to linesmen, but... Um, right, they seem to be doing their job well enough. Haven't heard any complaints uh, from either side. And now, has that player that was Sinbid come back on? I think he has. I don't see him over at the bench again. I can't remember exactly who it was. May well have been 12. He's over on that far side in the corner now. here. Five looking to get a one into the box, unable to. Unfortunately, ran out by uh, Chester 15. It's been a pretty tight game so far. I know we're still obviously even, but neither team have looked much more dominant than the other. It's a very uh, competitive one. We like to see, you know, as much as a nice thrashing can be. I was As long as Salford uh, I... on the winning end of that. They can be a little bit boring. We like to see some um, competitive games. Number five there, putting it in. Looks like it's just got away, but it's gone all the way through. Sorry, Thomas, you were going to say something. I had to cut you out there. It's I quite strange. I, um, I expected the uh, scores in uh, hockey to be more like netball um, in, you know, the, a lot higher figures. But uh, when I saw uh, the last uh, hockey that we filmed, I was quite surprised by um, how low the score was, which really does show that they fight for every single point on the board. Yeah, I think it's a great testament to, like, the defensive skill. Uh, that there is to the game. A keeper sending it out there, safe, uh, rather safe than sorry. But yeah, it's a great testament to sports like that. And you do see it as well in like uh, football. Um, you know, you've got these big nets and these big pitches, but there's still tiny scores. Um, and it's just a testament to like the defensive aspect of those games as well. That's number seven's done really well. Spinning and his great footwork. It's a good shot in. 
Oh, and it's just wide by the looks of it. It's a great effort. I would like to highlight um, all the equipment that the uh, goalie's wearing. Oh, well, I would, it, yeah. It, I mean, you must be sweating like crazy in, in all that. I'll tell you what, though, mate. I would rather be wearing that than nothing at all. We said about, you point. said about the fear of getting, getting your shins hit. I would not be in goal if I... I would want to be in, like, a full-on juggernaut suit if I was in goal, mate. Like one of those uh, bear wrestling, like... Yeah, like a, or like a cast iron chainmail, like, full-on like medieval... Bomb, bomb squad. Bomb squad <laughs> uniform, yeah. I am not going in there without that. Absolutely not. Probably still not going in there at all. But uh, what have we got here? Perhaps another, I'm assuming penalty. I know I said penalty last time. Um, but yeah, it looks like it gets played in and then um, it's actually very, again, I'm sorry to revert back to other sports and any hockey fans, you'll probably be sick of us hearing it, but for any uh, comparison for anyone else who also doesn't know hockey, it looks a lot like an indirect free kick you get in football. Oh, and has he messed up his little... Yeah, it looks like he's squandered that chance there. Hit it early. He'll be frustrated with that. It's a good, seems like a good opportunity to get yourself a point on the board, but nope. Uh, wait, will go on. I've got to say, I think Chester have been knocking on the door a little bit more as of the last five minutes or so. Yeah, like I said earlier, neither team really dominant, but Chester probably with a few of the better chances. Hey, yeah, all, it, all it takes is one. You can see where... Well, here it is, potentially. Here. Sorry, Thomas. Number five still got it. He's chipping around, and the keeper is able to clear. But the ball's not clear yet, and it's one back again here. Oh, it's chopped in, but can the... Oh, he can't keep it in the number 12. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll take back my words. That was an excellent chance for Salford. Chester, I just want to slow it down now, you know. A few substitutions being made by the looks of it. Yeah, as we can see from the scoreboard, I know we weren't here from the start, but um, the score is still nil-nil. Uh, and they, they are really fighting. It, I don't know how long this can go um, without any scores on the board. Absolutely. I mean, it, it, as I said before, it's the first time covering hockey. Um, and. What's that, sorry? First time covering hockey for me. Oh, it is um, for me as well, yeah. It's, it might even be the first time I've actually watched a hockey game. I, I, I'd say the same about yeah. me. Um, it is probably, you know what, and I've only been here for about 10 minutes or so, 10, 15, but I've got to say it's an underrated sport. I've really enjoyed it so far. It's been very entertaining. My sister is part of the Nottingham Trent. Um, Big up, shout uh, out. Name drop, hockey, Thomas, go yeah, on. My, my, my twin sister, she's uh, part of the uh, Hockey sister. Society. Yeah, I've got a You've got a twin sister. sister, wow. Did you not know this about I did not know this, Thomas. Fun facts about Cameron Thomas, I guess. There you go, shout out, what's her name? Uh, Isabel. Shout so out, Isabel. If you're watching, which you should be. be, you should she be supporting really be. your brother. Who's older? Like, is one of you like five minutes older than the other? Ooh, I, you know what, I'll let you guess. You'll let me guess, well, At I don't know her. time, I'll show you a picture, okay. and you can guess who's older. Right, back in... The second half, you will be awaiting my answer. And hopefully, I'll have someone else on commentary besides me who actually knows about hockey so we can bring you the quality content you guys deserve. Here we go, number five. Why, who else is turning up, Thomas? You got me excited I think there. I'm just going to go over to the Salford side and ask if anyone's injured and wants to do some commentary. Fair enough, yeah. Um, because, I mean, I do love commentating with you, but I don't think everyone... Um, <laughs> I, everyone think I think you've done a stellar job, mate. I'm not going to lie. What's going on? The it looks like a, a little discussion the refs having. Seems like they're not willing to take any stick from the players. I think number sixteen just appealing about a stick in his face or something. Um, and the ref having a word, and I think he quickly shut up before he was given what I assume would have been a uh, green card, green triangle, whatever the, whatever the name for that uh, penalty is. It's quite uh, crazy with the amount of abuse the refs do get. Um, in the women's first football oh, God, uh, earlier yeah. this morning, it was uh, quite harsh. I mean, uh, from what I saw, I did think some of his decisions were a bit um, dodgy, to say the, the least. Uh, the linesman on the uh, Chester side. That's well, the end of, end of the first quarter. But, um, yeah, 
you're right, Thomas. That's one thing I've got to say I'm not a huge fan about football with is uh, the, some of the stick the referees get. So, end of the first quarter here uh, in the field hockey, men's field hockey. Still nil-nil, neither team scoring a point. Pretty even game we've been treated to so far. I think Chester might have had the better chances throughout, but then at the end there, Salford were really knocking on the door. Looking forward to the rest of the game, back to the commentary. And we're back here. So, I mentioned uh, just before leaving about um, quarters, but... I think, I checked, I looked online and it said the game lasts 60 minutes and we've been playing for about half an hour, maybe a little bit longer with stoppages. So I reckon they're not doing four quarters, they're actually doing two halves of half an hour. I don't know. Um, so perhaps that was half-time team talk. I've just Not team talk, half-time talk. I've done a little piece of camera. But um, yeah, I apologise for any mistakes. And Thomas, you have just shown me, I know the people are itching to find out my answer for a previous... Um, question in the first half about you and your twin sister and you showed me a photo yes. and you told me that there is what a minute and four seconds between you a minute four seconds between right us, yes i've got my answer i thought about it as soon as i saw that photo so you're not gonna be very happy with me but i think your sister's older you give off the younger brother vibes you've got that smiley cute little face thomas oh uh, thank you. and i think you give off the younger brother vibes am i right i'll give you a drum roll Ooh. Ooh. yep she's older by boom a knew it yeah. Yeah, you'll never live that down though, will you? Yeah, yeah, uh, it, it's painful. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll Imagine right in front of losing us here. a nine month race by uh, for a minute, four seconds. Um, <laughs> that's a good way of looking at it, yeah. Yeah, nine race. <laughs> yeah that's what it was. But right, yeah, comes. love it a bit. Number um, four coming through. Sorry, Thomas. No I love worries. your little family, um, family chat, but. And here we are, Salford, still winning the ball, still in the uh, Chester half. it out wide. Scrappy in the Chester box, it's cleared out just there to the Salford uh, bench. Anyway, what, why I was talking about my sister is I think she would actually be able to commentate and understand what's hey, happening. Yeah. Um, uh, again, we don't. Uh, <laughs> hey, if she's ever up here visiting you. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> why would she? Yeah. Uh, but get yourself here if you can, if you can, uh, Isabella, and come and commentate. We'll definitely take it. Funny thing is, though, she may be part of the hockey society, but she is yet to play a game. Oh, what a shame! Hey, but get her I, in the team. I am told the hockey society do drink and have oh, yeah. quite a lot of fun, which I'm oh, yeah. sure is the same in Salford and Chester. Hey, that is what we're here for. I mean, we saw last week the. Uh, the, the drinking funnels out for the uh, rugby union. Absolutely. Oh, well, the drinking funnels out for the rugby union today at Chester. They had a few crates and a few bottles of wine, and you could tell they'd all had a few drinks. And here we are, Sulphur pushing their way into the box. Number six still got it by the looks of it. Ref blows. What for? A penalty by the looks of it. Sulphur celebrate. It's a chance to save their blushes from the uh, last half. That and failed attempt. And, and like um, Tom always says, Tom Turner, they have switched ends. Does That's Tom, what happens at half time. Does Tom always specify it? Yes, he does yeah. because once he got it wrong, he, How he was very surprised earth? that the defenders were where the strikers were and the strikers <laughs> were where the defenders were. Bloody and he hell, was Tom. about to comment on the most radical change he's ever seen. It's like, because it's Pep Guardiola's tactics. What's, here we go, Salford. Oh, it's a scuffed attempt. Still got it in the box here, though. Trying to fling it back. And ref blows. And what for now? Perhaps another penalty by the looks of it. You can see there he, he dragged his stick for too long. Yeah, obviously, yeah. you want it to be at the very end to increase the speed you right. fire the ball at. Yeah, it did seem that way, yeah. Um, but unfortunately, it, it, as you can tell, it must be hard for them to... Uh, to keep everything ready. It is, it's, it's very difficult. They do crowd the area, don't they? I guess you just want limbs in the way, don't you? Here we go. Still got it now. It's scrappy, cleared by Chester. I wonder what the conversion rate of those are. You know, is it? are they like relatively difficult to um, convert or are we just seeing a sulfur team that are not very good at it? I don't know. I'd say for no accusations. The Salford team, they they're doing well, so they I'd are. say it's quite hard to yeah. do. Yeah, it um, does seem it. It does seem it. It's like I say, it's very reminiscent of like an indirect free kick in football, 
Um, and yeah, they can, you know, depending on the position, be relatively well defended. You get just getting bodies in the way, sticks in the way, and limbs and arms and whatever in this case. I'd also like to thank um, all of the people spectating who have ducked in front of the camera instead of just oh yeah, thank the you view. guys. Um, we appreciate it, it. it. It is very nice to see. Um, I mean, it'd be helpful if the people who were on our on our bench for the women's first would um, <laughs> have ducked a bit because they did block quite a few of our shots. But yeah, thank you very much to everyone who does um, take care to uh, ensure the camera has the best view possible. Yeah. Because of course, if you're Chester or Salford, you still want to see this footage. Well, yeah, I mean, if Chester, if Chester are to win, I'm sure they want to come and watch this and see some of the highlights, and then they can gloat. Especially if we have uh, spoken poorly of them, we we could say, yeah, which does be, happen occasionally. You know, we be, are all Salford. They'll bring posters next year with X's Ooh. across our heads. It's not a bad effort there from Salford. It's certainly a better one getting closer. But yeah. Um, yeah, we are all Salford, aren't we? We're here, obviously, at Salford Spot TV. We do have the interest of keeping unbiased, but only to a certain extent. Come on. I would like to ask, who do you think the uh, man in the, bl uh, the black Batman um, shirt is playing for? Right, yeah, I've just realised that. Well, because someone's not wearing a kit. Oh, here we go! Out. It looks like a trip! This man and it's been given as a foul. Sorry, I've just been distracted by the play. But Salford came very close to scoring there, and I think they must have been penalised. That Chester must have been realised, surely. It looked like a foul to me. Uh, but yes, to answer your question, well, I think he's definitely Chester by the uh, side of the pitch, by the body language, by the way he's been interacting. But why on earth, yeah, is he wearing a black Batman shirt? Bizarre. I suppose Chester have some black on their kit at least, and he's trying to match to an extent, but I mean, he's I say, with the Salford lot. It may well be Salford then. May well be. Yeah, you might be right. I thought over on this side he seemed more Chester. And it would, I suppose, darker colour, maybe. Yeah, he's talking in Salford a lot. He must be Salford. Well, in that case, I didn't say it, but I was going to say, get him off the pitch. He should play with a man down, but I take that back now. I wouldn't like to penalise him because if he's not got the kit, it, it could be for all sorts of reasons. Maybe someone's um, not been able to show and he's had to jump on. So yeah, I'd like to thank him for, for showing up, um, whether or not he's wearing the correct <laughs> kit or not. But it would have been nice to put a blue bib on him <laughs> uh, just to uh, make it easier because... Anyway, I think, yeah, I think we I don't know. If you look at him now, he looks like he's assuming... No, never mind. Thought he might have been assuming a defensive position, but no, he's, he's definitely not. Yeah. Goal I'll tell you count. what, I do curl up whenever the ball's whacked like that. Yeah, it's terrifying. I can't lie. I'm terrified every time it comes anywhere near here. I saw some, um, some broadcasters um, who were... Uh, videoing the shooting for the Olympics, I believe. Oh God! Um, and they were in bulletproof hides, except yeah. their heads were oh, up well, where the cameras were. Oh, well, uh, that's stuff. convenient, isn't it? The one place I'd want to be hit by a bullet most yeah. is probably my head. <laughs> yeah. So that that was fun. So you know, everything uh, below your shoulders is safe, but <laughs> above, it, you know what you quite need. What? So what, what was it? Were they wear, What were they wearing? Were they, they wearing? They're wearing or? bulletproof vests. Right. And they were hidden behind this big bulletproof, um, like, glass high. Right, also. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, luckily off to the side. They look like not meerkats. They look like meerkats popping their heads up. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Should have got helmets. I would have dressed them up as, like, soldiers. That would have been well funny. Anyway, another penalty for stuff. They've had a few in the last, sort of, ten minutes or so. They're really knocking those on now. i got to say, the momentum shift has changed in this second half, I'm assuming. Like I said, I think they've opted for two halves instead of four quarters. But yeah, they're really they come out and. Um, Here we go, another penalty. Oh, and he's done it again. He's got to be gutted with himself there. Uh, and I'm assuming there's a rule that once you've hit it, you can't be the next player to hit it again. I would presume, um, yeah. Here you go. If you stop that, Ollie Spencer, good job. Perfect. He does have some good interceptions good in footwork. one match. You oh, headed the ball away look, from the camera. I've got to say, that's one of my finest moments of Salford Sport TV. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it was going to hit the camera. I just wanted to hoof it. I've always wanted to do that. I remember. You know, I'm going to take you back to. Uh, a game I went to, which I regret for the rest of my life, because um, it was Kurz and Ashton uh, away, following my beloved York City Football Club, and the ball came flying towards me, and I was like, I'm going to header it, I'm going to header it, everyone will cheer, uh, and then I ducked out at the last second, and my brother doesn't let me forget it, um, quite embarrassing, so I wanted to make up for it, and I did. Um, anyway, enough of that silly little tangent, but go back and watch it. It was against, was it against the Wrexham, I think? Wrexham or UCFB, I want to say. I want to say UCFB. May well have been. It was definitely um, one of the first two games I covered. It could have been Wrexham, though, because it was when we were still doing the commentator cap. 
Yeah, but then it, I think we had that for those first those two games I mentioned. They were the first two games I did coverage on. It was definitely in one of them. Uh, actually, you know what? I have an answer. Oh, go on. Um, it was against UCFB because ah. Lewis Speed was on commentary with me, and yes, I remember him going, Striker! Uh, and yeah, he did commentary with me for UCFB. I can't remember who did it for the Rex. Oh, it was Tom Turner. Me and Tom Turner did it for the Rex game. I know it's me and Lewis on there. There we go. Mystery solved. I tell you what, though, Tom Turner and Lewis on commentary. Oh, that's God, a, never again. Uh, I personally vote. It doesn't even impact me in particular, but I personally vote. I love them to bits. And the problem is that they love each other too much, and they're such good such good mates. Um, get along so well. They get along too well uh, on commentary. <laughs> yes. Um, as you may have realised it took a bit longer to, um, <laughs> to put out that footage. Poor Thomas. That's because I had them sit through and watch the footage to edit out anything they didn't want to. Anyway, here come Chester trying to push forward. It's intercepted by Salford. Locked by Salford. There you go. Oh, and that's a tough one in the, in the middle there. The ref will whistle. And so Salford to take the foul. Chester penalised. They're appealing for a card. More clattering. Salford for another foul to take here. Chester probably doing a good job at just slowing the game down, though. You know, they were probably won't mind. Batman there, trying to fling it in, but. I think we, we might need an interview with Batman at the end. Uh, <laughs> Get to the bottom of the mystery. Yeah, find out what is happening. I mean, I will tell you, the, the kits are quite expensive. Um, yeah. Uh, my flatmate, Amelia, uh, is a part of the Salford Sirens. Oh, yeah. And I believe it was, uh, I think we, we worked out, it was about 150 for, for all what? the kit. Um, I, but that was a surely that's like... I'd like to check on that before I use that. What, for one kit? Yeah, and I think they've got, you know, all the jumpers and yeah. the... the I've, you the know what, kits. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I reckon that's just for the cheerleading because I think they're all fancy and they wear, like, have all these different clothes and pom-poms. They do have a very nice in, 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 embroidered um, do, jacket, yeah. which I would quite like to see over at Solver Sports TV. Um, good, sorry, a good bit of sportsmanship there, a little foul on it. Batman admits his wrongdoings there, which is what we like to see. Sorry, carry on, Thomas. Yeah, I, I would like to say, though, that with um, the sportsmanship, the rugby lads really do show another level of sportsmanship, especially after the game. Yeah, they do, absolutely. There was a lot of tension in the game today earlier, but handshakes and... Uh, Kisses and cuddles after the game. <laughs> Even after a, a scrappy game and a few little kickoffs on the pitch and off the pitch. But yeah, that's absolutely right. That's how it should be. There's nothing wrong with tension boiling over as long as it's controlled and as long as it stays within the remains of the game and the pitch. Yeah, definitely. So uh, what, there was one guy who made fun of a neck injury, which I wasn't very happy with. So screw that guy. Better than the um, netball crowd last week who unfortunately said some uh, quite... Uh, misogynic um, yeah and, well I, we they were on the uh, bench at the uh, Salford and they were just a bunch of twats I'm going to be honest with you sorry again for you swearing know, I'm not going to bleep that you don't have to bleep that that because, was justified for how, how yeah, rude they were being to the players yeah. you may you may be fair you'll expect some abuse but oh, what was said at, at the netball from some of the fans was uh, out of line yeah so I wasn't there but I can only imagine I'll take your word for it Thomas Yeah, because uh, like they were on the football anything, yeah. they were on the football sideline and they were being very mal there as well look lads keep it within the restraints of the game there's nothing wrong with jeering there's nothing wrong with banter there's nothing wrong with antagonizing players but do not be malicious don't bring race gender sex identity anything into it you know keep it within the restraints of the game yeah that's that's my piece there and, and i i uh, hold that you know when it comes to like i say a big football fan you hear there's a lot about kick racism and homophobia at the game and there's a lot of like banter that goes on at football, but you know, keep it within the restraints of football and nothing else. We're all human at the end of the day. Definitely. Or are we dancer? <laughs> but yeah, I, I am definitely looking forward to film the first American football oh, um, game that we are filming at Solver Sports TV. Is that here at Varsity? That or is, is it here at Varsity. Oh. It's going to be back on the main pitch at, I believe, 4.30. I might have to come check that out. I'm getting the train back, so I can head back whenever I want once I've done my duties. Yeah. But I think I'm going to stick around a little bit. I've got no reason to go home, and I want to support the boys and girls here at Solver today. Definitely, we do enjoy as many people out as possible. Um, and back to the American football, though, I'm very looking forward to it. It's it's actually a mixed match, so uh, men and women on the team, uh, very and whatever you'd like to add. Oh, well. it's last it's attending, but it's fumbled there by the number four. Oh, so for it in. In. they've got their first yes. play. Yes, 
in God, one man. nil to Salford. And I've got to say it's deserved. When you watch back this and edit out whatever audio we've said, I'd like you to just take Grayson, that incredible. And he's hyping up the crowd. Go on, son. Now, it's a lovely little play there. He's done really well. He thought he was tackled, but it was fumbled by the number four, which is such a shame because he's had such a good game so far, the number four for Chester. But uh, fumbled by him. And then it's really, it's a fox in the box. The striker's um, and you acumen can see there. The crowd, I mean, you can't quite see them because they're in the uh, huddle there. But the crowd is going absolutely wild with the the sound of us winning. There we go, Salford winning now in this game. It's a one point to the goods. Um, that's definitely a good uh, crutch in this game. I think, like I say, it's been pretty even. I think throughout most of the first half, I'd probably say Chester were slightly better. Maybe not better, but had the better chances. But well, Salford, they had a good streak at the end of the first half. And now in the second half, they've come out and looked very strong. Chester haven't had a sniff. Um, and they just, can they extend this? Can they get a little bit more comfortable in this game? You know, a rapid quick fire two shots will uh, really do that for him. And it could happen here now. 13 needs to see it clear, he does. I will say it's quite quite good lucky for the uh, Chester lot that that did go out. The uh, Chester goalkeeper was quite far it away looks like from he'd, the he'd goal. He rushed off his line there, hadn't he? Yeah. And it paid off because uh, no ball went in. Yeah, well, yeah, I think just doing that puts a bit of pressure on the Salford attacker, especially when there's a defender coming for him as well. Um, but it's a risky, risky business. Now, Thomas, do you know, are there offsides in hockey? I don't I know. have no idea. But I, I would like to say when I helped commentate last week, yeah. I correctly called an offside. Oh, so there must be some level of offside. No, that, that was for football. Oh, for, oh, for football. Oh, okay. um, but <laughs> I, I, I just like to say how proud I was of uh, calling that correctly. Well done, Tom. I'm proud um, of you. I'm proud of you. I don't really uh, follow the football too closely. Mm. But I like to say to my best mate, James, you won't be watching this one, but hopefully you watch that one. Um, <laughs> I, I, I know football, kind of. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I've got to say, I found it very funny when you hopped on football commentary at Varsity last week. It was hilarious. It was a fun time. It was so time. sweet. It, 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 did, it did make me feel a bit better when I was... Um... Oh, Chester. Oh, I tell you what, he wants to save for his blushes there, but Salford... And it's a penalty given by the looks of it. Foul there, but yeah, I tell you what, that number four was looking to burst his way through and get him back into that game. If I'm not mistaken, it was his mistake. Uh, or, you know, I'm assuming it looked like a mistake to me. As Again, like I said, someone with limited hockey knowledge. But, um, hey, he looked, it was a chance to get himself, get the team back into the game even. Um, and here the penalty could do this. Yeah, no, I think we were talking about offsides. I reckon, I don't think there is. I've seen a few players loitering in what would be an offside position if it was the sport of like football or rugby. Um, and I know there's been no penalising for it. So I think... I there's think too many players as well, if you look at it. Um, the, it's not like football when you're quite tight on players. Where no. can you put your man? Here we are, Chester with an opportunity now. Oh, and he's fluffed it himself too, but the 12 can save him a little bit perhaps. Now that is interesting because you would have thought that that is not a common thing to mess up. These two teams have looked really high in quality, but surely just like a little flick into the box can't be that difficult. I mean, maybe it's I ignorance mean, talking. There is a there is a reason why it's an indirect uh, penalty. Yes, because oh, if absolutely. you were on your own, you, you just could have just it. whacked it in, and th there'd be a very low chance that you could save that. Here we without, go, Salford again. Oh, it goes high without serious injury. Yeah, absolutely um, right. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm quite happy that I touched wood. I've kicked a, I've kicked a bit of wood because um, that, I don't want anyone to suddenly get injured after me saying this, but uh, no, there's no not. injuries so far, which is quite surprising for um, such a high pace um, and aggressive game. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, obviously that comes with the sport, but uh, oh, of course. It's, it's good to see that well, they, yeah. they've kept the cool. Well, like I said earlier in the rugby that I covered today, there were a couple of neck injuries, which is never nice to see. There's even a lad that was, uh, I think he was down for about the last 20 minutes of the game or so um, by the try line. They do carry on in rugby when there's an injury, but they did sort of vouch to stop the play if it went too near. But, I mean, um, there is so many um, injuries in rugby. If you stopped every time oh, of course, uh, until yeah. they were back on the pitch, it would you'd, take a you'd while. Be there for hours, but um, I have heard. I can't remember his name. I'm not going to lie. I'm really sorry to the fella, but um, uh, I did hear that he was still down and getting treatment as we were leaving. But I'd heard that he was conscious and laughing and joking and talking. So 
a sort of better sign than it could have been, of course. Well, best wishes to anyone who's of been course, injured in absolutely. Varsity. Um, I mean, putting your life on the well, not quite your life, but your, your <laughs> well, body you on the know. line for the uh, for the sport. While we we are fast from Chester here, yeah, moving up, like... but they have lost it, unfortunately. Yeah. It's uh, sold for possession. Yeah, so I wonder if this like this score, this is like a common scoreline. You said you covered hockey before. What was the score last time, Sam? No, I said I've never. Oh, you've uh, never covered, covered hockey, it. Oh, sorry. But I, I watched the video. Right. Because uh, I'm I'm the. Yes. Did I edit it? I probably edited it. <laughs> um, I don't know actually, but uh, I saw some of the, the clips and definitely, and it was quite surprising. It's a good interception there, and the number two looks to push forward now. But sorry, yeah. But I wonder, like, do you ever get like? Do you get like six, seven nils in hockey? You may well do. And you, Surely. Yeah, because if you're against a team, you're a lot I mean, better than it, this, it makes sense. Looking at this game at this point, I, I think um, it's quite like. Uh, I, I expect it to be more like netball, as I said earlier. Yeah. Um, netball, a team can run away with it yeah. um, and win by an easy 10 points. Yeah. Um, especially with the pace of this. Yeah. If, you, if you have your men where you need them and pass and communicate well, you can just cross. Any defense. The whistle there calls the game back. But um, yeah, and again, I'm sorry to anyone because I'm bringing it back to football again. It's just the best way for me to make comparisons. But um, yeah, like you do occasionally see like a six nil, seven nil, whatever scoreline in football. But it's not common, is it? And you, a one nil is relatively common in football, or like a two two. I mean, I would like to remind or... you, it was seven one last week to the uh, Salford uh, women's seconds. Uh, yeah, uh, well, for football. Yeah, you're right. And you're... it was an incredible game, but unfortunately, we were down Annie Fanagan um, oh, today because she was on a geography field trip, which is not her fault. I think it's the yeah, university's it is. fault. Come on, get to the varsity love. Now I'm joking. You're I mean, if you right. paid for a geography field oh, trip yeah. to Prague. Whoa, I it whoa. Was, oh, yeah. I think, yeah. I, I think hey, I'd be going If there. they were going to, like, Southport to look at the beaches or something, I would, uh, <laughs> I would argue differ. Oh, oh good I, old home I'd be in Prague. Beach. I did go to Prague recently, earlier in the year, and I had an absolutely brilliant time, even though I was ill. But here comes Salford. Sorry to cut myself off there, but Come on, number Salford. six, lashing it in. It's a great goal. Yes! What a what shot. A man. Beautiful. And he doubles Salford's lead, and that could be it for Chester. Two ahead now. I've got to say... That was a brilliant strike there. He takes the wide angle and he just lashes it across the goal and into the back right corner. Uh, keeper really could do nothing there, but excellent play for Salford. Really good. And that puts them two up and they could have got the win here today. We'll definitely need an interview with the uh, Salford lot because they will win this game, of course. Oh, yeah. I mean, we do say sometimes that we're not biased, but when it's varsity, we are Salford all the way. Oh, it's in no, the name. We are 100 percent biased. We just we have the interest of you've got to give credit to other teams. You've got to you know you, oh, can't, you can't be biased. You they can't be biased in the commentary. An but. incredible fight. The uh, even the um, people on the sidelines for Chester they've been giving it hell, um, and it's good to see a good turnout to celebrate these incredible athletes. 100 percent, Thomas. Well said. I think we're about to hear another. Um, not great chant from the uh, Ooh, Chester maybe. Lot. By the sound of it, they're riling up. You tend to get a little bit of a buzz with them uh, because they're being prodded by their um, their students' union people oh, to yeah. like, say something. <laughs> Whether they but I'd like to say compared to the uh, Salford lot, who all immediately cheer on their own will. You know, they're oh, yeah. they're quite they're quite up for it. They want them. They want Salford to win, and they do not care who knows it, and they want everyone to know it. Here we go, 100%. Chester Pen here. I'm calling the pen, but I don't know what it's called. Number four, it's a great save by the keeper. And again, what an incredible double save. That's a wow. keeper to be proud of. You see in there. Wow, I've got to say, look, we've seen a couple of goals now in this game, but that's the most impressive thing I've seen all game. That's incredible. Putting his body on the line. That first save with his, uh, with his pad there on his shin. And then second, I don't know, he just flung his body in the way. Really good. And he's kept Salford with this two-goal lead now. He definitely does his job well. 100%. We, oh, we've got a, a rogue stick that has been retrieved, but... As long as it's not broken. You can't throw it at him, mate. <laughs> and Salford pushing forward again now. Can Salford make it 3-0? 
Did I say Chester pushing forward then? I might have done. I can't remember. You know when I like, believe just... it is Salford pushing forward. It is Salford. I, I may have just the said the wrong, wrong team. Yeah. Right. No, I think it's my... Well, I might not have even said anything wrong, but... You know sometimes when you're just talking and you forget, you say the wrong thing, you just, and you can't remember, you can't even remember. Anyway, whatever. Salford's still pushing on now, playing it out from the back. Switching sides now, and number two cuts into the middle. Oh, he's cut out, and now Chester will want to launch counter-attack. Don't think that time is of the essence. You know, they've got a two-goal lead to bring back if they want to get anything out of this game. Salford regaining possession there. This is what I think Salford have done really All well. All that comes straight towards us. Good save, Oli Spencer. It's just, it's just gaining, keeping possession. Uh, I think they've been so good at it, have, uh, have Salford, especially in the second half. That's a poor ball in from the chest to number 13 there. It's collected by Salford. We put our Salford look by, on it by uh, stopping it from going out too far. Do we have any idea how long we've got left there? Uh, unfortunately, I didn't start a timer, so I don't actually know. Uh, but I would imagine if, if it, is, it was another half an hour from that break, I, we might have about Salford's five, on the ten aggressive. minutes left. And here, it's a 2v2 here. Oh, the attack slowed down, but it's he pushed it on. up here. Number 13 can't win it. Six has a strike. It's a cheeky one. And is that in? Why I did they leave think it? So. Oh, I think the re ref, might have the ref must have whistled. Something. Surely the keeper did not just let that in. Yeah. Look, it's going to be taken. But I was, I was shocked there. I thought it was 3-0. I think it went out, maybe. You know, I went round. Did it go in the in the net? The ball went in the net, 100%. The keeper almost just stood out of the way. But, yeah, it must have been a foul. He missed that. Yeah. Uh, you can, I didn't, you know. Well, hopefully, if I if I shot the camera in the right position, you uh, absolutely. see what happened there. Yeah. Yeah, you did a stellar job, Thomas, I've got to say, on the camera and on the mic. Finley Gaynor did it earlier for the rugby and... I think he did a pretty good job as well. He missed a few little things here and there, but that happens. Yeah, I will um, be honest with this. And obviously we apologise for the um, late uh, coverage with the uh, full camera. Um, but we did get some footage on my phone, which hopefully wasn't too bad. And I'd like to shout out to Lewis Speed, who did oh, yeah. Thank hold you, Lewis. the camera briefly. Um, and, and, and hopped on and, commentary and for a little bit. Commentary. He's a real soldier, is Lewis. Definitely. Tell you what, he, he did apologise quite a lot for um, the uh, unfortunate editing that I had to do last <laughs> week. But um, oh, I love him to bits, you know, that's, so did, that's did how you, he survived. Did so you long. make him watch it through? Him and Tom Turner yeah. and Harry Chisnell and sat then, down and watched the entire two hour edit okay. and, 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 and told me like, if I needed to change oh, anything. Oh, so did they like take timestamps? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that Basically, makes sense. We did it whilst it was playing. Uh, yeah. I'd already edited all the footage and then I just yeah. needed them to go through and make sure they were. any like bleeping or cut yeah. out, yeah. Fair dues, fair dues. Yeah. I tell you what, it is a pleasure to cover uh, all this for Varsity. Uh, great inception even... there by Batman in the midfield. Oh, it's a lovely spin for number six. Three on goal here. Oh, one, two, little spin. Batman, and can he save it? It's collected by the number five. It's a poor clearance by the keeper. Yeah, the ball just got away from him in the box there, number six. A little, oh, it's a feisty one there between the two players, but they're just, you know, they, get a little, they, they have a little shout at each other, but then leave each other be. It's good to see. There's no need to take it any further. But yeah, it's a foul. Salford put it in. Yeah, I've got to say, the second-hand performance has been really dominant from Salford. They've shown that they're the better team. So very close in the first. Oh, and that's a nasty one. As I said earlier, Ooh, you do not want it yeah, in the Yeah, that's rough, that. I don't know, that is legacy. It would be nice of him to check on him. Bloody hell. That is a it, 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 If he's walking like that for a seasoned uh, player, he is in absolute agony right now. Oh, yeah. That is... Yeah, I didn't, no thank you is all I'm saying. If he gets anything Still else, going. You know, that'll probably go off because yeah. the pain of the uh, a stick to the legs or um, oh, it was a the ball, ball. I think he pinned the ball, ball at it. Yeah, if with even worse. Speed, honestly, oh. I think I think the ball's worse. The, the stick's bigger. It has more. It disperses the pressure of the. Mm. Oh, that's a little bit of spin. Tell you what, number six has come alive in this game. It's been really good this second half. But yeah, I think I'd rather the stick. Definitely. Ah, uh, well, so it depends on the speed of the ball. Really, yeah, well, it? of course, but. 
So another thing I was going to ask, is there like a rule on how high you can hit the ball? Because I would have thought that could be quite dangerous. I doubt it. Uh, right. Because they have done a few chip shots. Yeah, I've seen that, but I wonder... But you do lose control when you yeah, get it in the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a really good player can pick it up mm. and lob it over a player into the goal. Yeah, um, that, that is real talent, yeah. I mean, I, I've seen some of it and it is incredible. Uh, I mean, I'm sure the, the things these guys do in training... Um, showing off their skill must be incredible. Salford coming forward again now, yeah. But yeah, I was just um, thinking, like, I suppose it wouldn't really be practical, but could someone just chip it up, like pop it up, and then just whack it as hard as they can at head height? Because that is I think surely that would not be very dangerous. Exactly. Surely there's like a rule on that. If there isn't a rule already against it, I get a guarantee there will be as soon as someone does. Well, it looks like some of the Salford sirens behind us here, giving some encouragement as they walk past. It's good to hear from the Salford lot, but they are being drowned out by the Chester fans. I think they, the Chester fans might need to check the scoreboard, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, because last time I checked, that is a 2-0 lead whoop, whoop. for away. What do we think of Chester? Don't, we can't don't say finish that, that on Thomas, the don't finish it. <laughs> Here we go, solve it again, putting it into the box. Looks like it's gone out. But uh, I tell you what, you were mentioned talking about the kits earlier when we were talking about Batman and his lovely t shirt. But I've got to say, I think these shirts are might be my favourite that I've seen here at Salford. Yeah, we, the we, Batman shirt. <laughs> well, yes, but I'm talking about the. Uh, the uniform for the Salford players. I am a sucker for like a collared sports shirt. I think they look so good. And the perfect dark blue and yellow, as we have with all the sports, is I mean, it's usual grey. Um, After you've just watched the rugby, you should know that the kit for some of the... I don't know if it's the rugby union, the rugby league, but they have a bit of gold mixed in there. You know what? I can't even picture it, but I should be able to. But um, I do like the gold. Oh, off the post! They were close on Salford, looking to make it free and really put this game to bed. But, uh, sorry, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't even envision the rugby kit now. I can envision the football ones. I've obviously seen them a lot, and I think some of them are pretty nice. But this reminds me of, like, an old, like, 80s, 90s college shirt. Like, oh, the what, Man United re-released one. Last, was it this season or last season? That, like, cream-coloured one with the, like, maroonish collar. Oh, beautiful. As much as I hate Man United. Beautiful shirt. Yeah, as a fan of Liverpool, I am not going to comment about Man United. Yeah, I've got no reason to hate them. I just think they don't like them. <laughs> don't like most of the big clubs in the country, to be fair. As don't a, say as anything a, as about a grass my beloved root. Well, Liverpool. I, I have a little soft spot for Liverpool. I'm not going to lie. Oh, good I'm not, not going to lie. I am an avid York City supporter, but I used to sort of like Liverpool more than most Premier League teams when I was younger. Um, them in Newcastle because I've been to a few Newcastle games and and I've been to a few Liverpool as well. One, my mum actually, my mum worked with a lady called Steph and Steph's husband or partner or whatever, Jack, is the Liverpool goalkeeper coach. Wow! Uh, so he is at every game and we can see, you see him on TV every time we watch on TV. I'm like, oh, it's Jack. Um, and I've been to his house and I've uh, seen his uh, Champions League winners medal, not a Premier League winners medal because it was before they'd won it. Um, uh, a couple of years ago, but yeah. So I've been to a couple of games at Anfield, beautiful stadium. And I just, I love the club ethos at Liverpool and I love what they stand for and they've got a great history. Um, I mean, Aston Man United, of course, but yeah, a little, little soft spot, but enough on that. Oh, we do love our clubs, don't we? Oh, yeah. But we tell you what, what do we love more than anything? Soul, soul food, food! Soul food! <laughs> All right, come Chester. Chester on the aggression Pushing here. forward. Salford looks to cut it out. Stop. Oh, Ooh, that's a nasty one. Yeah, it'll be definitely... penalised for that. I think it's unintentional. None of the players are really appealing too much. I've cause... also realised his shorts. Oh, here come Chester. Going to shoot. He does. It's a poor shot. I was about to say his shorts are a different uh, colour than the other teams. I mean, <laughs> in in this kind of uh, league of um, hockey, you aren't expected to have everything. Nah, you're teams, probably not so... getting as much funding as other sports it's not Definitely. as popular but I, like I said earlier I don't see why because it's a I've had a blast this I'm watching this and it's been really entertaining that's the great thing that I love about us doing sort of sports TV and I'm definitely biased saying this but I do love having uh, covered so many sports so you can show uh, they can the teams can show people 
what the sport is like to play. Oh, yeah. Oh, to yeah. To get 100%. people invested. Yeah, in. I mean, if you guys can watch these sports and want to get involved, I'm sure they'll love to have you on. Definitely. I remember after the ladies' rugby, they said we're losing a few senior players. Come, we want people coming next season. Go try out. What's the worst that can happen? You have a, Even if you don't play, like you said, your, uh, your sister, uh, you say Nottingham Trent. Yes. But apparently, well, by the sounds of it, she's having a blast with oh the, with the goodness, socials. Yeah. Um, get yourselves involved, guys. Definitely. And if you keep... Oh, look at that! For Salford. Is that the number six again? I've been really impressed with him. I think he's definitely been the star man for Salford. That, and I got... Again, a slight shout out to that number four for Chester. I thought he was really good, but he's... Him and his team, no fault of his own, I'm sure, in the second half, have just sort of fallen off a little bit. But it's natural when... Salford have come out and given such a dominating performance. We go in front of the penalty again. Yeah. The Chester team shouting at the top of their lungs. Yeah, to fair, play to, them, fair play to them. Fair play to them because the team's gone two 0 down. And they're still here, still supporting them. They are a lot louder than. Batman! Oh, it's a good save to be fair from the keeper. He flicked it high and hard, but the keeper managed to get a glove on it. I do think the. Uh, the Chester crowd here are better than the uh, Chester crowd for the women's uh, football right, earlier. Okay. They're a lot louder. I mean, it might have been because I was on the other side of the pitch, but uh, so far, over the games that I've covered, the uh, Salford Whoa. crowd has been the best uh, by Big up. quite a long shot. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I think they're pretty even for the rugby, but maybe that well, Chester were winning in the second half, and that's only really when they piped up like um, yeah soft crowd were great and that's it At is it end. I believe that's full time that's um, a win it's a win for Salford I think <laughs> I'm really sorry it's quite unprofessional is it? Uh, or are they, are they, they, they I don't, don't know they look to... like they might be still taking no. a shot of some kind maybe they have to finish this what penalty is this? is this like a penalty shoot Alan? what are these guys doing at the half no, line it might be no, they're just there because they can't be in that end. Right. And they're all running back now. Ooh. Nah, sure. I, right. I'm using my brain here. That's I, the game done now. Oh, there we go. That yeah. is game done. I they think, I think maybe that. that was like a certain level of penalty where the players can't be there. But Salford have won. 2 0. Strong performance. Another um, win for Varsity. Another win for Varsity. It's a great one off the list. And it was a great performance. Came out in that second half and dominated. Thank you for watching, you see, guys. The keeper's joined in there, and he needs to be proud oh, 100%. of himself. What he a has performance. kept a clean sheet through this hell of a game. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see if we can get you an interview. Um, take care on this lovely day, and go on, Salford. First of all, gents, congratulations. Another win in varsity here against Chester. Really good stuff. I've got to say, I was really enthralled by the performance. You know, what's it a testament to, Matthew, as captain? You know, the team spirit out there looks so good. I mean, yeah, the team spirit was amazing. I think just the hard work the lads have been putting in. We've been, been building up to this point for the entire season. The lads have been, you know, dying to get this, to get to varsity and, you know, show, show Chester what we're about because they're in the league above, but... I think the lads know we're a great, we're a great bunch of players. We're like a family, and uh, yeah, we just stuck to our, stuck to what we know. And yeah, we've two 0 So it's brilliant, mate, brilliant. Um, and you know, a very close first half. Um, both teams looked pretty even, um, but you came out in the second half and showed them who's boss. Showed them you were the better team here on the day. You know, what, what's that talk like at half time coming out in a game that you know you're really dying to win? Um. I think you've just got to like give it straight. Tell the lads what what because we were saying we're playing miles better side. Uh, we was definitely on top for the whole game, but we just didn't want it as much as them. So that that talk, um, firing everyone up from the captain, and uh, handing out them uh, gummy bears or whatever, <laughs> definitely motivated everyone. And yeah, we just straight away the intensity. We set it to how we wanted it, and yeah. Perfect. And Connor, mate, two goals today. You know, it's a team game, but you clean the star today with those two. How does that feel? Yeah, it's always a team game. Um, 
I just kind of do what I do. Um, but yeah, it's the wins for the team, not for me. So just had to do it. Uh, really well done, lads. Thanks for talking to us. Congratulations and enjoy tonight. You ought to go celebrate. Cheers. Cheers.